legitimate badass, but he's got the big you know, but you know, you look, take one look at the guy, it's like, I'm not fucking with this dude. There she is, Nora Grunewald, probably best known to wrestling fans as Molly Holly. Frankly, she is probably the reason most people are here. It has been almost two years since she last became, she last stepped inside a wrestling ring as a wrestler. But that lamentable dearth ends tonight. She is here. We are all very excited to have her, NIW. Very proud of the fact that this is where she's making her premiere, her re-entry inside the ring. I want to know if she's going to keep going after this. She's going to keep, you know. Well, I thought psychic prediction was your specialty. I don't know. I just do the wrestling I, stuff. I hope so. Well, we'll I mean. see. Depends, I suppose, on how things go tonight. Currently, outside the ring, their opponents, Arya Davari, himself no stranger to Molly Holly. And if Molly Holly has an arch enemy, it is probably Arya's partner, the CEO. He's done everything he can to make her life post WWE as difficult as possible. And he's succeeded pretty well. She's also uh, kind of screwed up his life a little bit, too. Oh, yes. It's and a two-way street. She certainly is nobody's punching bag. Fans letting her know <laughs> how much they missed her. Aria and the CEO seem completely, utterly bemused on the outside. Both of them very reluctant to get in the ring, and I can't say that I blame them. I'm, the uh, CEO wrestling, which is well, a very rare sight. This is what I was about to ask you. Rare as in unique, as in I've never seen it myself, but since you're such great childhood friends with everybody. I've seen him in the ring while wrestling once, and I, it wasn't a pretty sight. Okay, duly noted. But that was also roughly five, six years ago, so it's been a while. In terms of strategy, I have to believe <laughs> as much as, oh boy. This, this has to be a mistake. Ah, well, the bell, that <laughs> bell, is, bell is not fearing any better, yeah. but the bell ringer has gone all Quasimodo on the Bell's butt. These fans going absolutely insane. What? The CEO, CEO engaging under that. in a little defensive wrestling and a lot of primping. And if I were going to, if they were to consult me, I would advise keep Ari in that ring and just leave him there, frankly. As, yeah, I agree. The CEO. But then, you I, know, it I, kind I of a like two versus one thing, too. But well, At least to start things off, but CEO deciding to go on the offense. Uh-oh. Oh, getting taken down there. Drop toe hold oh. by the former WWE ladies champion, Natag. Uh-oh. Wait a second. <laughs> the CEO getting out of there. CEO. Must have heard me. There's Engage. not too many people that are uh, friends with the CEO, and I'm sure Ryan Cruz would like to get his hands on him oh a little yes. bit. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Ryan Cruz and Ari Davari. I've seen these guys go at it before. To say they dislike each other would be a gross understatement. Oh! Looking him down again, and... Oh boy. 
big scoop slam by Ryan Cruz. Elevated. Nice slide drop. Nicely done. Perfectly done. Cover. One, two. All right, Tafari stalling for time here. Uh oh. Seems to have Cruz confused with Allah, apparently. <laughs> oh boy. Is he facing east? Which way? <laughs> I think I think Cruz understands that it's just a ploy to buy some time. Cruz, incidentally, has about a oh. zillion different wrestling outfits. Oh. And when he knows it's Ari Davari's his opponent, he always chooses the red, white, and blue. That's not a coincidence. Ari Davari with a cannon like clothesline. Damn. Lateral press. Big and now shot just the flagrant face. punches. Oh boy, now that he's softened uh -oh. up. Look who's all too happy to come in and pick at the pieces. A couple stomps there by the CEO. Up oh, and take you know, Gets Davari his licks again. in and gets out. Not unlike corporate America, I suppose. It's true. Ari Davari. Indulging in a little bit of jaw jacking, but getting right back on Cruz. Flagrantly yeah, choking choke. right in front of the ref. But, you know, you got till that count of four. That's true. And a whip here into the corner. Cruz turning around here. And, oh, nice mood salt. One, two. Nice series of moves. And exactly, exactly the kind of match you don't want to wrestle against Ryan Cruz. You keep Ryan Cruz grounded. Down and, oh. That just might do it right there. Wow. You don't get groundier than that. And one, two. Another two count there. Like a Wiley e. Coyote cartoon. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised if there's a perfect cruise-shaped <laughs> silhouette right in the middle of the ring after that one. All right, he's those clubbing forearms, staying on the neck, staying on the upper back, of course, setting up for his uh, signature camel clutch submission. Oh. Kick to the stomach, perfectly legal. Ari Davari simply taunting Ryan Cruz. As much as I'd like to sit here and tell you it's psychological, I, I think it's just that he likes to yell at Ryan Cruz. Shoulder buried deep in the gut of Ryan Cruz. CEO. Not unlike the CEOs outside of the this world. It's not. Torquing away, torquing away. Ari Davari trying to get inside the mind of Rob Page. He'll find himself very lonely if he succeeds. His fans trying to get Cruz back into it. Molly Holly, in addition to being a very achieved wrestler, pretty effective, oh man, pretty effective cheerleader on the outside. Ryan Cruz, meanwhile, got the wind taken out of his sails. Knee to the gut. Ari staying on that on that stomach. And now going to that stretch, going to that camel clutch. Rob Page right there checking to see if he wants to submit. Ryan Cruz says no. Ryan Cruz holding on. Trying to power his way out of this move. Ari Davari didn't quite get where it, everything he wanted out of that. Oh man, power slam. And again, back to the cover, two, oh. Cruz just barely, barely kicking out. Ryan Cruz pretty thoroughly decimated in there. And I now, thought the CEO was gonna go for a cover there. I don't but know what CEO know what he's is doing. Holding him down there. I don't oh, really know. CEO's holding him down. Preparation for, oh man. The setting up for the magic carpet ride. 
and Ari Davari. See, oh, forgetting his opponent, and oh boy, here comes Molly Holly. The CEO doesn't know it though. CEO, uh oh. Uh oh. He's back right. He's I think uh, he knows trying the to fix avoid he's it. in. Oh boy. Oh. And he just got taken out by that clothesline. He's obviously not a wrestler. Oh. oh. His little drop toe hold. Oh yeah. boy. Ah. Oh. Big leg drop. Cover. One, two. two. Oh. Turn that around. <laughs> now an attempt at the magic carpet ride. There's your magic Wait. carpet ride. And here's cover. One, two, two, three. three. And that's it. And that one. A clever bit of teamwork by Molly Holly and Ryan Cruz. Molly Holly in particular managing to trick their opponents into defeating themselves, essentially. Pretty which much. Which is not to sell these two short. He really did make a terrific team. These fans absolutely going insane. We are standing room only, and Molly Holly is the reason why. And, <laughs> and we're Davari dragging the CEO out. The CEO being absolutely destroyed, being pulled Very out of there. Good. By Ari Davari. I doubt if Molly Holly will be getting Employee of the Month award this month. The CEO literally Ryan carried Cruz. to the outside. And the back. A nice return to the ring from Molly Holly though. Well, you wondered about Molly Holly returning to the ring. Certainly this can't hurt the prospects of that. That's true. She's uh, made a terrific, terrific, triumphant return. We here at NIW are glad to have her. Molly Holly, 